allow me to introduce you to Pete Mondrian, a very famous artist and school teacher who lived from 1872 until 1944. His paintings were very unique or different from other paintings. Pete Mondrian liked to use just three colors in his artwork. Can you name the three colors? Red, yellow, and blue are called the primary colors. The primary colors are super important colors because when you mix them together, you can make all of these colors. Isn't that incredible? Pete Mondrian knew that red, yellow, and blue were very important colors, so he used them often in his artwork. Then he would paint thick black lines around them to create squares and rectangles. Today we are going to create a masterpiece in the style of Pete Mondrian using the primary colors and bold black lines. Pete Mondrian used the shapes, squares, and rectangles in his artwork. Choose at least one of each of the colors red, yellow, and blue. You can have more if you want, but you have to have at least one of each. Lay them on your white background until you have them arranged just the way you want them. Draw a square of glue on the back of each primary colored shape, and then turn it over and attach it to your white background. Once you have all of your squares glued, turn your white paper over to the back and give it a nice massage. Mmm, paper likey. Find the edge of your cardboard scrap that has the wavy line across it, not the straight side, the wavy side. Dip that wavy edge into the black paint and then push down on your white paper right next to one of your shapes and pick it up. You're going to push down and pick it up. Push down and pick it up. You see that I continued my black line until I ran into another shape and then I had to stop. Continue making these black lines around each of your shapes. Push down and pick it up. Push down and pick it up. When you've gone around all of your shapes, then you can create more lines on the white paper to fill in the blank space. Push down and pick it up. Push down and pick it up. Keep going like this, making more squares and rectangles in the white spaces of your paper until you've completed your project. 